there's a lot of Madden 23 information that came out today. Obviously, the trailer and there's news and there's a bunch of articles. You guys want to go read those if you want to know more about the gameplay, mutt, changes to the game. But I want to talk about in this video. Let's I'm going to let's just say this right here. This is one of the most important Maddens in a long time. And the main reason for that is next year we have NCAA or college football coming out. Normally that game piggybacks off of the current version of Madden. So this engine, this game is likely going to be used for there. So well, you want a good Madden regardless. If you like college football, you really want this to be a good game. You really, really do. So a couple of high level things that I noticed here. And again, we'll break this down in more detail at other times for you guys. Um, and if you see something that you feel like I missed, put it down in the comment section. Love, I, I'm human, right? Uh, Madden has a very, very, very difficult tendency of overreaction year to year. This year, defense wasn't really great. Did it even exist? Not really. When you see professional players onside kicking because they don't think they can stop someone, there was clearly a problem. Now, one of the problems is that EA decided to never, ever fix the game. That's its own thing. So I was expecting a more defensive heavy game. This sounds like a more defensive heavy game. On the flip side, EA is going to be touting these field sense controls for control with your running back, precision passing. Haven't we had that? I feel like we have had that. And you've taken it away from us in the past. So, uh, let's wait and see how it feels, right? Now, one of the things that they seem to be adding for passing the ball, if you guys play MLB, the show is kind of like with pinpoint pitching. There's like pinpoint passing now. Again, whatever to create a skill gap uh, is, is fine by me, right? I, I will learn it. Um, hopefully, you guys will learn it too. Maybe a little rough at first, uh, but anything like that. It's not really going to be all that different from how you would pass the ball before, except now that they have essentially removed low passing and using the left trigger L2 to control your directional passing. Okay. Like that's fine. Uh, there's a button for like, Oh, well you want to throw a bullet pass. Well, you know how to throw a bullet pass, lob patch, touch pass. You don't know how to do all that. It sounds like they're giving us more ability to control the running backs. Again, I'm a fan of that smoothness within the game is great. I love smooth out there. They talked about making contains better for you as well. Obviously the thing they are removing escape artist as an ability and making it an X factor and tuning it down again. That is something that is, it is great to hear. Now I will say this. Why not fix it? Just why not fix it? Right? Why not fix it? And if this was your solution for Madden 23, why didn't you implement this in Madden 22? We complained about escape artists and you said, well, just make it ex more expensive. Why didn't you just make it an X factor this year and tune it down instead of getting us angry constantly, but you didn't do that. Okay. Okay. Now I see a lot of positivity out there and, uh, you should always be positive about a new game. It's it sound, everything sounds great until it's not, uh, but I, of course, I'm looking forward to it. I think Madden 22, uh, is the way it sits, was not a great game. Uh, I think it really could have been a great game with, with a lot of easy changes. And it seems like they're kind of making some of those changes even, which is great. And that excites me because, again, we need this to be a very good game. Will it be? Well, we'll find out. But let's talk about some other stuff here. We got to go into a little bit of detail. If you love fantasy football, then you will love the best ball drafts over on underdog fantasy. And the difference between best ball and regular fantasy is you draft your team once and the lineup gets set the entire year for you. That means there's no worrying about putting players in place and the highest score each week for that position will be taken into account. You still have time to enter into the best ball mania three draft where there's over $10 million in prizes. I will also be holding a bunch of private drafts with you guys to compete all year long. So sign up now using my code, the actual season, you will get your initial deposit matched up to $100. So good luck, good drafting, and let's be great. So you're going to see a lot of stuff in here and I'm going to go over this quick, quick enough. Okay. Uh, 
obviously they're adding more catching SWAT animations and all that. Again, it's a very animation based game. That's the more they add, the better it can be. I, I still kind of wish the game was an animation based, but Hey, that's just the way it's going to go. Uh, they talk about a lot when you throw the ball. Now you can throw back shoulders. It's like, well, you could do that anyway. Um, so, okay. Um, again, uh, but the big things that I saw defensively that they called out. And again, I am going to assume that if they are calling something out, it was kind of a real point of emphasis on zones playing correctly, which is what we want. Deep thirds needing to have a pull route, a streak to push them back. Now, without a, a pull route, they should guard corner routes. How will they handle one play touchdowns? That is to, to be told. Uh, they also removed a ton of stuff from playbooks. And that would seem like people would be like, oh, they're taking stuff away from us. This one I'm okay with. There are 90% of the plays within Madden nobody uses they're not good them doing this is great what they also did on defense is when they simplified plays now there's a toggle switch if you want to run regular coverage or match coverage you can run match out of so many different things as well now now i'm not a big with match but that's they're, they're removing plays but they're essentially doubling plays as well in the same point so that is good again for the common player simplicity is kind of a good thing Madden is inherently a very difficult game to play. Any way you can simplify it in those standpoints, because it's very overwhelming. What play do I pick? Oh my God, there's so much in here. Take some of the, just the crap away from it. And they did. Apparently, right? They did that for defense. They did that for offense here as well. So many useless plays in every single playbook. They're simplifying stuff again until we see the playbooks and get our hands and we know how the game plays and what becomes meta. We don't really know what's going to be good. What's not with what playbook. We don't, but again, taking some of that stuff away is fine. There are plays nobody uses. We don't need them in there at all. Um, so they have like a good example here, uh, that I'm going to highlight in three, four and four, three under, uh, most of the plays now will show single high safety, which is fine. Uh, and they added new plays such as cover two invert and trap lists that look like cover one or cover three offense. Again, great, right? If you're going to remove useless plays, give, give us these little wrinkles, these random cover two inverts. It, I, I'm here for it, right? A, l a little more in there. Now, obviously you can create plays, but that's its own thing. Uh, again, in here, they're focusing on things. In the past, we've seen teams use formation on a consistent basis, but only ran a handful of plays. And then this formation would be filled out with commonly shared plays. Again, unnecessary right there. Uh, the field sense deep dive. This is the really big thing. This is obviously like strictly what they're trying to pitch and out here for us. Again, it's more animations. They're trying to give you more control. Again, controlled it. They would have told you that we had before, right? But all of this, all of this field send stuff with tackles, blocks, all this sounds great. We need to see it out there. When we go to Mutt, because a lot of you guys care about the Mutt stuff here. Uh, the biggest thing here is that to me, right? This is to me. When EA play starts on August 16th, it is the same day that if you pre-order the game, you can play it for, for full time. No more of this having to go through five days of EA play and I've got 10 hours. Let me find an account, switch an account. How can I hack the system? No more of that. It's the same thing. I've asked for this for years. When the game comes out, just let me play it. Please don't give me this runaround. Like in years past, I've had to call around stores so I would have to avoid this 10 hours and pay a pretty premium for some of these games. I've done it for years now. I don't really feel like I have to. I'm okay with just getting the game the day it comes out. You know, a little birdie comes up to me and says they got the game early that's different, but I won't really be actively searching for it here. So obviously when you pre-order, they're going to give you 4,600 Maddie points. That's something FIFA did last year. Obviously getting points 
is a good thing. You can use it for how you want to build your team. Uh, there's things in here that you will see that are missing. It doesn't say um, a lot of this other stuff. Yeah, there's dual entitlement. You get to pick one of 87 overall players. Obviously, don't get to pick a cover athlete because John Madden is on the cover. Uh, each player has a premium ability to enhance their in-game performance. Sure, we'll go with that. Choice of two elite players, uh, a strategy item, all that sort of stuff. Fine. Uh, but here is something else. This is very FIFA. If you guys have not played FIFA Ultimate Team, which I don't play, I just watch a lot of the YouTubers, to be honest. Um, I have something to play for with the first ever Field Pass Challenge, which sounds like Seasons, maybe a little extra thing with Seasons, but sounds like that. And a reward tracker, again, sounds like Seasons. Someone said uh, to me on Twitter, sounds like a Battle Pass. Well, that's what, that's what they were going for this year. And they didn't really hit the mark. Uh, and play to earn Mutt Champions entry tokens and choose to compete at your convenience. In FIFA, Weekend League, Mutt Champions, isn't just open, right? You have to earn your way into it with tokens playing different things. And that's very much what that sort of says to me there is that you'll have to use three tokens to enter it or whatever it is, right? It also seems to me that because they're doing that, that monthly awards might not be a thing. If it doesn't have that anymore, so we'll see how that goes. Now, me personally, I would be okay with that because if you've played one weekend of weekend league, it kind of felt like you had to play the other three or four. I don't feel like I have to do that. Fine by me. Uh, and then simplified set building lets you navigate your content binder more effectively. Again, if that's a quality of life improvement, I'm there for that. So real basic going through all of this today. I like what I'm hearing. No, no problems with what I'm hearing, right? Some of it, I feel like they probably could have done with us this year and made our quality of life better for Madden 22. Instead of making us wait eight months playing against this horrible escape artist meta. Hey, that could be a thing. The mutt stuff. We'll get more information than that. Obviously, uh, if you pre-order, from like inside the game, there's a loyalty, you get a 99 overall. Whenever that comes available, I will do the pre-order and I will show you guys those packs for sure. Uh, there's a lot in here. If you're a gameplay guy, you're obviously gonna read through the whole thing. If you're not really a gameplay guy, you're just gonna, I'll wait and see. Cool too, right? Everything sounds great ahead of time. They do a great job of hyping up their game. They're aware that not a lot of people have truly enjoyed playing Madden over the past couple years. They're also aware that they're starting a brand new game that they want people to be playing and they want to garner this excitement for an NCAA 23. And that is why this game has to be great. It has to be great. This is the foundation going forward on not just one game, but a series of games. If Madden sucks, college football probably will also suck a little bit. I hate saying that, but that is the case. If you guys want to see more stuff from me, Click on the top right. If you guys want some MLB The Show stuff, click on the bottom right. I love you guys, and I'm out.